Hello, Tammy. Hello, everybody. Wait till a couple of you get on. I'm gonna make a recipe I haven't made in a long time, but it's really good. And I haven't made it because we've had our, like, grandchildren, I don't, <laughs> they don't like it very well. I think my one Braden would, he, he likes sauerkraut. But I'm gonna make us a dish, and I, I made a pan of red potatoes and let's see, red potatoes, green beans, and bacon. And I put some butter in it and did them. And I was waiting for that to get done because I need one of my burners to put a skillet upside down to prop this up. So I'm gonna take some lard. You can use whatever you want, okay? And I'm just gonna start that. The reason why I'm putting it in this cast iron is because I'm gonna put this cast iron in the oven to finish this recipe up. And um, if you don't have a, a skillet or something you can put from here to in your oven, then you can take the ingredients out and put it in a pan and then put your cheese on it. I don't know if I'm gonna put any cheese on it or not. Not sure yet. So um, first we're gonna put this in there. I'm, this skillet should be getting pretty hot because I had the green beans on this. All four of my burners work, but I have skillets on so I'm going to use this one and use the other one. When I put this in the oven, I'll finish up in beans, which they're done. But So you get that done. You don't have to put that in there. You can fry some bacon. Uh, I had bacon in the freezer that I had... Um, made and I didn't want it all and I didn't want to throw it away so I put it in a baggie and put it in the freezer and I use it for when I want to add it to something so this recipe really calls for you to cut up some bacon and put in it not much just a little bit but I have some it looks like weird because it's got all that bacon fat on it but I'm going to go ahead and put that in here I'm going to use the rest of it so I got plenty of bacon in the freezer I put some in my, some, and I'm just going to throw that in there. That will flavor up that lard I put in there or whatever you want. You could use uh, Crisco, you know, whatever you want to use. But I bought another thing of lard yesterday. I'm going to use it. So let me get up and get... A paper towel, which I forgot. I forgot the cheese too. So let me get back over here. I always forget something, but that's okay. Cause I'm, I, I just always forget an ingredient for some reason. So there we go. We're just gonna fry that bacon up a little bit. And that's what you'll be doing is taking your bacon and frying it up a little bit to get some bacon fat. The reason why I put the um, lard in it is because I, I had my bacon already done. So while that's cooking, you wanna take some celery, okay? And cut that up. And if you don't want big pieces, you just cut it very little. This is probably a different recipe than what you guys are used to. And maybe you know it, I don't know. But when I start, my celery starts needing to be used, I try to use, I, I left enough in there to make a pot of it, or potato soup so that's what I'll be doing out of the rest of that is making potato soup 
But right now we're making a kraut and kielbasa casserole. They're made a lot of different ways, but I make mine this way. And I'm going to eat it too because I'm hungry. Lord help us in this house. I made double that potato salad. We've been eating potato salad on the side. Personally, I can't wait till it's gone. And I don't want to waste anything. So I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to eat it until it's gone. And the bread pudding I made, I left us enough for another serving and gave the rest to my daughter. We didn't get out, we didn't touch. I just told her to get it out of the car and take it home or take it in her house. So I'm gonna cut the celery up while that's sitting there. You can see it frying up a little bit better. want to cut your celery up a little unless you like bigger celery but this is a different dish if you're tired of staying in and thinking of the same thing every day to make this is the thing to make went to the store yesterday and stocked up so time we got home going to three different places we start I decided to wait till today to get it all organized so I've been working all day on that I have to think we need some supper so how are y'all doing today hi Cassie or Carol. I can't see. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to use with this. this done but I didn't anybody that likes kraut will really like this recipe I'm almost done with the celery these ingredients are going to make a good casserole. So we just give out a quick chop to make it just a little bit smaller. Yeah. So here's the celery. Let me get a bowl to put some of this I'm going to take this bacon out now, put it in a bowl, because it's little pieces, and that's what you want is little pieces. I think that's flavored enough with bacon, but we will use this. I'm going to take that out and put it in here. And probably when I get this done, I'm going to eat too much of it. Because I love it. But since my hubby's here, he'll share it with me. I 
I got the bacon out and now I'm going to I bought a sweet onion you can use a regular yellow onion but I prefer the sweet onion somehow it just makes it good just cut that in half take the end off I'm not like these chefs on TV that can take an onion and go down like this. And everything else. I just don't know how to do that. But I'd say I probably got enough time to practice that. Wouldn't you? I love the taste and the smell. I'm going to take it off there. Of a sweet onion. So we were out all day yesterday. Yes, Cassie. Sounds good. Let me turn that down. That, that skillet is hot, and I've got it on low. One thing about cast iron, you probably already know, that once it gets hot, you don't have to have it on high or medium. You turn it on low, it's going to stay hot for you. Got a piece of onion on me. I'm going to cut that up, just kind of give it a little chop here and there. These will be all natural flavors put together. Piece of that celery, it's got a string on it. I'm going to cut just a little bit more of that off. I want just a little bit more of that onion. I think that'll do. So now we got the bacon done. It's waiting on us in a little bowl. going to take the onions. That onion had some juice in it. We're going to take these onions and celery and we're just going to put them down in here. Let them saute up a little. That way you don't have any crunchy onions and, and celery in your casserole. I've got that on the road. Now, while that's doing that, I bought these. They're called Roger Wood Lumberjack Smoked Sausage. So it's not kielbasa, it's smoked sausage. And they're about that big. So I'll open them up and I'll be cutting them while, see, <laughs> wow, look at here, reminds me of them cartoons, <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to 
mix that up a little bit and let it just saute while I'm cutting this. And keep that on low. I don't know what that is? Oh, it's a piece of bacon. And they're starting to already get. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them diagonal. And I'll tell you why. When you cut them like this, they have a better chance of getting brown on both sides and cook through better. So you want to just let them cook while you're doing this. Didn't want to use the end piece. And we'll just keep it doing. Do you, Cheryl? I like it. I'm pretty sure my. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that my daughter and son in law, when they had to coffee shop made a one of these and they called it the lumberjack and it had everything on it and then whatever you wanted on it I usually always got proud on mine so I'm going to cut all these up Sure, these don't burn. Smells good, delicious. <laughs> Smells good. Do you think that they'll ever, one of these days in the future, come up with like smell o vision? where you're t doing something online and then you can smell it. <laughs> In my mind, no, I don't think it'll ever happen. But with everything else that's happened, I don't know. I don't see how that'd be possible. Yes, they're not expensive at all. You get quite a few of them. I bought these and had them in the freezer. Cut that end off. I just kind of like the looks of it when they're stuck together like that. Put your mind them old frankfurters they used to have in a you could, in the olden days. You can get them uh, still, and they've got that crackle when you eat them. But it just depends on what kind you like. I'm going to squeeze that out of there. in getting this all cut up I'm trying too hard this will do a lot better I went right through there I guess you got to use the right knife I've got my chicken in the crock pot and I'm going to make chicken salad later and have it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. OK. 
Okay, we got all that done. These are all getting pretty good. Let me get another bowl. As soon as them get done, I'm going to take another bowl and put these in it. You probably don't have to, but I want to make sure these um, sausages get done good. Of course, they'll be in the oven, but there's just something about cooking that nut grease beforehand, all the onions and everything. I tell you, it makes a big difference. I mean, some people would probably just take the celery and onion and just stick it in there and put it in the oven, but it, it's not going to taste as good. And who don't have the time to do this? I mean... I was so bored today that I hurried up and I, I was I've been cleaning and organizing. At first, I got lazy because I missed my grandchildren because I didn't wasn't doing nothing. And then me and my husband started watching funny shows. We watched one last night of a a decent comedian, and I've been doing a lot of studying and listening, listening to what's going on. Not the fake news, but the real news, the Bible. So I got them pretty well, you know, cooked up pretty good. Yeah, I tasted that bread pudding I made, you've got to make some of that oh, the way I did. And it sit refrigerator overnight. And when my daughter came to get, well, she didn't come to get it. I, I took it over, me and Tom and dropped it off. Told her to get it out of the car. Um, I took a bite of it. Man, was it ever good. But I knew I wasn't going to eat all that. But I will be making that again soon. So, I got this all done. The celery and onion. I'm just going to put that over there. And I'm going to put these sausages in there. Turn them up just a little bit. Get them going good. Now you can drain your crowd if you want to. Turn that up a little bit so then we'll get done a little quicker. That sounds good, Christina. I love pickled eggs and beets. I'm telling you, that's one of my favorites. That's good, Maria. I'm glad you made some. Sorry you had to wait so long to get it. Don't you think that's really good, Maria? Oh, you can't beat that topping on top either. My daughter said, I really like that. I said, are you sure you like that? She said, yeah, even my, everybody liked it. Let's get that going. This is a big problem I have. I do drink water. I make myself drink three to four bottles a day. But I have, so I was, I didn't have this for a couple days, and then <laughs> lo and behold, we went to the store yesterday, and they had it on sale. Now we are going to be. You know that I say everything's better with butter. 
And by the way, I did get stocked up on butter yesterday. I didn't care how much it cost. I was going to have butter. So I put it in the freezer and I still have some in the refrigerator. And so I do have butter. If you got flour, sugar, and butter, and lard, and potatoes, <laughs> I'm just trying to get back to some of the recipes I've done before years ago. I need to stand up a minute. Guys, my legs has been bothering me so bad. And yesterday driving did not help at all. We went to another town. But I am so glad that I got some organization done today. <laughs> Floors swept, mopped, bleached. So I'm glad to get that done. I think I can relax now the rest of the night after supper. Think up something else. I thought it'd be nice, you guys, if we could do a live chat later. Sometimes I, I stay up till midnight, but I watch, um, I've been watching Rodney Howard Brown and different ministers. Uh, Gerald Ford. He's a really good, good, good minister. He knows. And then I listen to Dave again, my pastor. I listen to everything over and over again. So these are getting, I want them to get browned. Let me get, walk it, get that foot going. Sometimes my husband has to uh, get the circulation going. I don't know what it is about him, but as soon as he touches it, it just fixes it. I don't know. Yes, I have to wear compression stockings every day, but I haven't worn them. I wore some yesterday when I was driving, and I mean, this is for years I've had to wear them. And I pay, I, I end up paying $75 a pair, and I try to get two to three pairs a year, but I just haven't. I wore them yesterday and I wore them that day I went to the doctor, but I haven't been wearing them around the house. I just put my feet up, try to keep them circulated that way. Sometimes wonder if it isn't from all the grudge garages I jumped off of, all the trees I've jumped out of growing up as a kid. I jumped off of everything I could think of. Except Mount Pleasant. And that, I didn't jump off that. But they say mine is a blood disorder that causes your blood to get thick. They couldn't find, um, when I was sick in 2007, when they thought I was going to die, they didn't, they couldn't find the factor five, so who knows. The cancer doctor they sent me to, she was a blood doctor too, and she said, I don't know what happened to you young lady, but something happened, and we couldn't find it, <laughs> so... And my husband done an excellent, excellent job of taking care of me when I was sick. And I took care of him when he when he had the eye problem. We're just kind of Mr. and Mrs. Doctor to each other. he was back behind me is it I'll get that in a minute 
not important. I mean, it's not an urgent call. But I will call the lady back because she is a lady that we pretty well took under our wing. She, she had a child and they took it from her and she was raised in a children's home. She was beautifully mistreated, I'll say, in there. And she just grew up, then somebody adopted her and they didn't treat her right. And so she has a lot of child, like child issues. Like you take her in the store and she'll want like a little bear or something. And I met her at church and I just loved her and her husband and he died along the way. And we've just always been friends. A lot of people don't care to, you know, be around her too much or anything, but she's a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart, and she would do anything for you. I mean, yesterday, we told her we did not need anything, okay, anything. We're good. Well, she said, I got you some water, and I want you to come and get it. Well, we didn't want to go in because we don't want to drag anything to her, so she took a thing and put it at the door and here she had a case of water she had um, toilet paper and I, I forget what else maybe a thing of napkins so bless her heart she just she'd do anything for anybody she fell last week had called squad and since we got another number uh, because we switched our providers on our internet and phone and they gave us a new number so the people that is supposed to call me when she falls they couldn't call me because they don't have my number and so she called me from the hospital which i would have been over there before that well, this was two weeks ago, almost. But they called, she called me from the hospital and she said, I'm done. Uh, they checked me over and they're sending me back home. So I hurried up and got dressed and jumped in the car and went to that next town to get her. And then the other night she fell and nobody called me. But she had to call the squad to help her up. And I said, Mary, how come they're not calling me? Whoops, I just said her name, sorry. You don't know her last name, but I said, how come they're not calling me when you fall? And she said, I don't know why. She said, I wondered why you didn't call me. And I said, I bet I know the reason. You need to call them and give them my new number. So she, she was supposed to do that. Because when she called me from the hospital, I'm like, what are you doing there? How come I didn't know you went, was going? I would have went with you or took you or something. And But she did fall here last week and never went to the hospital. She just told them to help her up. And she's got a crack in her back where she fell on ice several years back. And probably 10 years ago. And they can't do anything about that crack. So... She has a lot of trouble twisting her body like that. She doesn't have good balance anyway. Okay, these are getting brown now, as you can see, probably. And I'm rattling on. So, now, I'm going to go ahead and just put that bacon back in there. See? I'm going to turn that back down a little bit, because I don't want it to get too burl brown so i put them little pieces of bacon back in there and by now we've got a good grease now i don't know why but i could only find two cans of sauerkraut i thought i bought a lot more than that but evidently not and i even thought that i bought a a bag yesterday, but Tom said I didn't. Said I didn't see it. 
So I'm going to just pour that in there, that kraut. So it's going to be two cans. I usually use three. But I'm not really worried about it because I, 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 the meat's going to be good in it. <laughs> yeah. I am getting hungry too. Just smelling this. But it isn't quite there yet. We still got to do a few things to it. Now we're just going to fry that now into that good grease. And by the way, if you see any of my earlier uh, videos on my profile, my hair was probably shorter and lighter because I always get it lightened like um, frosted. And so I was laughing and joking with my husband. I said, in a few, um, in a few weeks or more, we're going to know what everybody's true hair color is. Well... Mine's growing out, can't do nothing with it, can't go to the beautician, don't know any beauticians, because I, I said, when this is, if this gets all over, I'm going to find me a friend that's a beautician, so I can pay her to do it. But I told my daughter, I said, well, you're going to have to cut my hair if I need it cut. So, my youngest sister lives beside my mother. My mother is 89 years old, will be 90 in September. And she went over to try to do my mom's hair because she had already had it cut before they shut down the, the beauty parlors. My sister done a better job on my mom's hair than I've ever seen. My mom looked 20 years younger. So I thought, well, we know probably who's going to be doing her hair. She done it. She didn't say a thing about it. She went right over and done it. And my mom is very, very, very particular about her hair. Not one piece. She'll come down here and say, well, there's a little hole right there. You know, you need to fix that. <laughs> and for years, I just had long hair. Real long hair didn't do anything to it just washed it but how many knows when you cut it you usually end up cutting it again because then you think you don't look right and every time you think you're going to cut it or not cut it then it gets unruly so by the time i'm able to get out and go do something you know essential to me um maybe it'll be grown out and i'll just leave it like that. So Cheryl, are you really hungry right now? <laughs> I could tell your mother-in-law was. I when I when you when we were doing a live together and you had me to meet her, I could tell by looking at her that she was just like my mom and was very particular about her hair. You can tell by looking at them, you know, if they're real particular. And my sister, uh, Rita, she, she just washes her hair and everything, and she looks really good with just her hair, you know, not doing anything special to it. So I'm letting this cook up, and now I'm going to put the onions and celery back in there. So we got the sausage browned. Now we're going to put the onions and celery back in that we cooked and sauteed. I'm sorry, that was a school call, and they don't need to call me. I don't have my grandson there anymore. They can call my son. My daughter and my oldest son's president of the school board, so I'm sure if there's anything needs to be said, he'll say it. Um, so look at this now. Isn't that beautiful? It just looks so good. So good. I think you should run out and get you some sauerkraut. 
if you got any homemade or whatever. And mine came from a can because I haven't got any left from last year. And do this. Cheryl, if you already use these sausages, do this. Had the same thing, no onions. They don't like me. Smoked sausage, fried potatoes, oh wow. Linda, this is a sauerkraut casserole. There's no potatoes in it. But I did, let me get you here. I made this to go with it. There's little red potatoes in there, bacon and green beans. And I put the lid on that tight so that it will um, go ahead and keep cooking a little bit. So ladies, I cleaned my pantry. It's 10 by 12 room, room. And I got to looking and finding stuff. I thought, there's no use to me having all this stuff. I was going to ask, you know, my kids, do you need anything? Any cooking or Tupperware or anything? Because there's just way too much stuff. I don't need all that. If I got my iron and my little pans, I'm happy. I like my bowls, you know. I, I They've got certain ones and stuff, but... When I started organizing, I thought there's, I had one whole thing with four drawers in it full of the little Tupperware stuff, like the ice pops thing, the Tupper pops. I had little girls, um, like the cups and the pitchers. It's, ain't even out of the bag. I had a, one of them sets, well, I got two sets. One of them's my oldest daughter's because I never got to send her a Christmas present yet. It's still sitting in there in, the, in her present. But um, I, I got it for the family. But I've got the um, them real expensive Tupperware savers. You know, you put it on a certain thing and it keeps your strawberries good. I got a whole set of them. And I haven't even opened them at all. And I've got a set opened. So, you know, from selling so much, I got a lot of stuff. Let me get my foot straightened out. If it goes numb, I'm going to go over. <laughs> About that, I went to do something and took it over to the school. But, yeah, I do have a lot. Now, one thing... I always put in here that I haven't brought over here is sugar. I want a little bit of sugar in that. Something I don't usually put in it, but I'm thinking I need a little bit. So, there we are. I had to move anyway. This is really looking good, smelling good, can't wait good. My husband said, you use that big skillet so much. He said, how about when you get done using that, you just wipe it out? Because <laughs> sometimes I'll leave it and then he has to, t I'm not even going to say, but he was real nice about it. I'm like, from now on, I'll wipe it out really good because that's all you're supposed to do to them. Keep some seasoned. So I just want a little bit of that juice and stuff to cook down a little bit. And then I'm going to take my butter and put it on in cubes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that up. And I didn't put no salt and pepper in it, so I need to do that. You want to put your spices. There was something else that I put in that. It was a spice. I wonder if anybody could come up with the spice that's supposed to go in that. Uh, I'm 
looking up here. What do you think would go good? Is it garlic? And Nancy, if you're still on there, Nancy Hawk, they, I'm going to make the potato salad. I'm not potato salad, potato soup over here so you can watch me make it because I'm hungry for potato soup after we eat this. Which I can tell you right now, this is not going to be here very long. I could eat kraut all day, every day, in the middle of the night. I love kraut. And it's good for your stomach acids, too. That's what I heard. So now I'm just going to turn that up a little bit and let that sit there and get rid of the juices in that. I don't want a lot of juices. garlic. I got garlic. Let's see garlic. That's white pepper. I don't want that. I think that might be what it was, but there was another thing too. It wasn't turmeric. It was caraway. Caraway seeds and I don't think I have any of them. So I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in that. A lot of people put a lot more, but I don't think I have any caraway seeds, really. No. Well, I thought I had them all, but I don't. There we go. That, that's looking pretty good, and it's got its spices in it now. I don't want to put any turmeric in it. But I didn't put the caraway seed in anyway when I used to make it, so. Some can really get fancy, but I really don't. Okay, now I'm gonna take this butter and I'm going to chop it up in cubes. So that butter is going to make it better. So I'm just going to turn that down a little bit now and I'm going to put this butter. Some right here. And I really don't care to have this cheese on it. I think I'll put a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to put much. I haven't been eating a lot of cheese. But I'm going to take some mild cheddar. And this is the way I used to do it. Just put it over there. I don't want to put a whole gob like I usually do. I used to put a whole bag on top. And that's all I'm going to put. And then I'm going to put some butter on it, and I'll tell you why. Because I want this to brown that cheese. I'm going to put it the oven on, um, is there a place for broil? I'm going to turn it up to broil. Let's see. I'll catch myself on fire here. Hundred. I got it up to five hundred. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in there and I'm gonna take this and get my mitt and stick that right in the oven when that preheats. And leave it in there until that kind of browns on top, and that'll really marry it in there. I think, you know, my grandpa had German in him. He made his own kraut, and I think he put caraway seeds in it, but I don't have any. Why don't I have caraway seeds? My grandpa had them. And that's what it is, Nancy. I'm sure of that now. That it, it was caraway seeds too. 
But I'm gonna have to do it without it because I don't have them. And when I go get my spices, I'm gonna get me some. I have that big, all them Tupperware spice things, and I can't believe I don't have any caraway seeds. <laughs> anyway, we'll work on that later. Right now, it's just the essential stuff we need. Like I got white pepper. I never use white pepper, so I could put caraway seeds in that. Do you like it better without it? Well, that makes me feel better, Nancy. Makes me feel better. Okay. I must not have turned that oven on. I didn't turn it on. It's not going to take it long to preheat. So I've got a mess here, a big mess, and I'm just going to go ahead and clean that mess up. And you see what I got here. As soon as the oven preheats, and it, um, I'll put it in there, and then I will do a picture. And and if we decide to have a chat tonight on the gathering place, then I will put a little bit of it in a bowl and I'll let you watch me eat it. And some of that bread pudding because I got just enough left for us one more serving of it. Of it. So that will take care of that. And the green beans, we'll eat them for three or four days with stuff. So I'm going to turn this off. And as soon as that gets preheated, I'm going to throw that in there for about five minutes. Maybe less. It depends on how, how it browns up. So I think that cheese and that butter and all that has married in there really, really good. I do want to put just a little bit more butter on that because I got out what I really wanted to put on it. And I still have all that butter I got for, uh, was it 29 cents? It's got, um, it's butter, it's real butter. It's Land Lakes, and it's got olive oil or something in it. And that's, I put it back in the refrigerator and forgot about it. It's good. It'll be good for a while. I wish you all was around me. I'd give you some of it. Because I, I bought 22 or something like that. 22 of them. And I didn't mean... I, I was handing it out to the seniors. I was making sure them seniors in the store and people got it before I got it. She said they had so much of it. Take what you want. So I did that. Here's what it is butter with canola oil land of lakes i got that for 29 cents a tub so tommy mary lou paul you need any butter or anybody i got it linda my neighbor okay i'm going to take this and put it in the oven now so I will get back on here. Ouch, stub my toe. I'll get back on here and talk to you later. And we'll have a good old talk where we can sit and just talk about whatever you want to talk about. And we'll do that. So God bless you. Remember, I'd like to do it tonight. Cheryl, Michelle, and all of you guys. Cassie, all of you, if you're on the gathering place, let me know on this if you want to gather tonight. And... We will, Colette, all of yous. I know I'm not naming you all, but there's a bunch and we could get on there and talk with one another. So God bless you. I love every one of you and I really do. And you don't know how much I appreciate the fact that you're my friend. And it would be pretty lonely around here. Me and my husband's doing great. We're doing a lot of stuff together but it sure would be lonely around here if I didn't have my friends that are women to talk to. So God bless you. I'll talk to you later.